Peace everyone, Unmask Art here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to color feathers. Now this fat fluffy creature that you see on the screen right now is a bullfinch bird, and I decided to go with this bird particularly because of just how many feathers it has to maximize the effectiveness of this tutorial. As you'll notice, the color palette is also on the left side of the screen, and those colors correspond to luminance colored pencils. And again, I will be coloring on Stonehenge volume paper. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm doing here is just doing a rough sketch of the bird. I'm just using 2H pencil in my 0.03 mechanical pencil. This is a graph gear pencil, definitely my favorite pencil to use. And I'm using my kneaded eraser just to pick up off the lines. I don't want them to be too dark uh, when I start coloring, so I usually roll it across it and it picks it up and makes it lighter. The next thing I'm doing is I'm using my 821 and 001 pencil to fill in a little bit of the highlights of the background. And then I switch to my 862 and 015 color, and I'm just going through and filling in some of the background. I've done a tutorial previously on getting the blurry backgrounds, so I'm not going to talk too much about the background on this one. I'm going just going to go through with my colors and uh, layer them similar to how I've done on previous tutorials. And I used the 225 and 025 colors to incorporate some of the greens, and then I also added the 739 for some of the darker spots. And now what I'm doing is just going through with my odorless mineral spirits or paint thinner with a number eight round brush just to smooth it out, and that's just the first layer. Then I go back through with my 821 pencil, just over the highlights to saturate them a little bit, and then I go through again with my 015, my 025, and my 225 greens, just to fill in all the white spots. And I'm a bit more delicate with this layer. I'm not pressing hard on the pencil, and I'm making kind of small circles. I want the background to be nice and smooth. I'm working on a piece that is quite small, so I'm paying a bit more attention to what I'm doing with the pencil. And I'm just keeping uh, my pencil strokes small, smooth, and round. Uh, I also added a little bit of the black 009 color into the darker spots just to help desaturate the bluish color from the 159 color and to make it a bit darker. Now I'm going back through with my brush and my paint thinner just to blend out some of those colors. And you'll notice the background gets much smoother on this layer. Now what I'm doing is I'm using my 159 color to really establish the edge of the head of the bird and I'm making sure that my pencil is really really sharp and I'm pressing quite hard and burnishing the paper uh, right along the edge and then I just fill in the rest of the head with this blue color and I use my paintbrush to blend out the blue. It's not necessarily that the head is blue, it's just that I want to use the blue as an undertone once I lay black over top of it. And then I just fill in the eye a little bit and leave the highlight, nothing special there. Now you can see what I'm doing with the black is I'm just creating kind of the texture. I'm being really particular of my pencil strokes here and making sure that they're all going in the direction of the feathers. And I'm just using the 009 here filling in the black spots of the beak and adding a little bit more of the 159 blue. And then I use my paint thinner once again to just blend all that out and make it look smooth. Adding a few details and color to the eye. And this is where I start on the wing. 
And what I'm doing here is I'm using the 159 color again to get those undertones of blue. And once I add black over top of it, it makes it look even more black. And that's kind of the purpose of doing the undertone in blue. But not only that, it also adds that little uh, tint of blue that makes the feathers look more real. And then I'm just using the paint thinner again to blend out those colors. And I go back through with another layer of black, hitting the darkest highlights, and then using the 802 pencil to bring out the highlights a bit more. And then I blend it out once again. The next part that I'm starting on is the chest of the bird and all the really fluffy feathers. And what I'm using here is my 872 pencil. And what I'm doing is I'm establishing the length of all the texture in the feathers. So you, you'll see that I'm using many different lengths of uh, strokes, pencil strokes, to establish where the texture is showing up in my feathers. And I'm switching now to my 041 pencil just to start bringing out some more of the detail. Most of this detail will eventually be uh, brushed away. It's kind of just a guide uh, to draw on with color as opposed to doing it with the graphite pencil or something like that. And what you'll notice is that as the feathers are coming further down from the head, they get longer and longer. And so to create that effect that you see in the reference photo, uh, I all I do is lengthen my pencil strokes. And now that I have those two first under, undertone colors, I'm just taking my paint thinner and blending them out just to get rid of the white. Now I'm coming through with my brighter colors, my 850 color, and this is where I'm gonna start adding the colors that show up in the feathers. And I'm still being very mindful of the length of my pencil strokes, depending on which part of the feathers that I'm working on, either the shorter feathers up by the head or the longer feathers underneath the bird. And here I'm using the 862, pencil to just establish some of the shadows in darker areas of the bird along with adding more saturation and color to the front of the bird. Now I'm coming through with my 585 pencil and really starting to bring out the detail. I'm using a bit of a heavier hand here and creating the dominant textures. Uh, you'll see that with this pencil here, I'm using, I'm using it to bring out the overall texture uh, on the bird. And I'm going through now with my 872 pencil to reinforce the undertone colors that I want the bird to be, but I'm also still maintaining the same pencil strokes being mindful of the direction and the length of the feathers. And finally, I'm going through with my paint thinner once again to just blend out all those colors, work them into the piece and get rid of the rest of the white paper part. And now I'm going back through with my 585 pencil and my 850 pencil. I'm kind of switching uh, back and forth between these pencils depending on what I need to do with the piece. I'm also using the 862. Those bottom six colors that you see on the color chart are the pencils that I'm using for this part of the bird. And I also use a little bit of the black just to tone down some of the saturation on the bottom and darken up the shadows a little bit more. And you can just you can see that what I'm doing here is just layering those colors over top of one another and really trying to get um, all of the paper covered. And I'm I'm using the same direction in the pencil length, uh, pencil strokes, in order to keep the texture showing through the entire time. And then 
once again, I'm taking my paint thinner and blending out all the colors. When you do blend out like this with the paint thinner, you do end up losing a bit of your drawn on texture. It can create kind of a, a blurry uh, texture effect, but you can always go back over top one more time to just reestablish that texture if you need to. In my case, I did not need to. I liked the softness that I, it created, which is why I did not go back over top of it. Now I'm working back on the back part of the feathers, which are mostly just black and white. There's not a lot of color on this part of the bird, which is kind of nice because it really highlights the front of the bird um, because the front of the bird is so colorful. But what I'm doing here is I'm using my black pencil at very, very sharp, um, maintaining a very sharp point on it the entire time. And I'm just drawing the lines that I see in the reference photo. A lot of these feathers really are just straight, narrow lines. And that's exactly what I continue to do. However, I also switch to my 802 pencil just to darken up some of the white spots so that they're not so bright. And then of course I go through with my paint thinner and I gently blur that out. When I'm using the paint thinner to blend it out though, I'm making sure that my brush strokes are identical to my pencil strokes. And the last thing that I do here is I'm just taking uh, white, the 001 pencil in getting some of the last little highlights on the feathers just to create a bit more texture and make everything come together nicely at the end. And I also do a little bit of highlighting on the eye and the beak as well. And there you have it. That is the final piece. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. For those of you that support me on Patreon, the high resolution reference photo along with the color palette is available to you now for download. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any ideas for tutorials in the future, also feel free to let me know and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.